you can call me Sven. How are you? How are you? How are you? Today I want to show you a board game that I got for Christmas. It's a really nice board game, but I would like you to please first excuse everything about <laughs>
this bit of cardboard in particular. My God, it's my video. That's a point. Um, but yes, so this was a bit of cardboard that all of the little tokens were uh, in. So you would pop out the tokens. Pop out the tokens. And the tokens are things that you use for gameplay. The, you pop them out and then you insert tab A into slot B um, and then of course it has the rolls but the rolls are printed on this um, on this canvas like a plasticky canvas Some more rules, some flashcards for uh, I think it's for playing one player. Um, and you put out all the birds and you play it as though uh, you are all four players, I think. We've got some more little plastic bags for putting things away in. We've got another couple of sets of rules. So this is an appendix and this just is the complete like guide of instructions. And they are both really good quality. I really like them. Um, right, so now I will show you um, the birdhouse tower, which is indeed a um, half unconstructed, so this is only half constructed, but it um, looks like a little birdhouse uh, that birds can nest in, and it is uh, made of really nice feeling things as well, and has that nice mossy outdoors effect, but what it's for is for putting the dice, it's like a dice, a dice roller, a dice tower, you put your dice in there and then the, the, it rolls out the bottom. Um, so that I leave it set up in the box so I don't have to rebuild it completely every time. Um, and the next thing I want to show you is not edible, sadly, but it is these eggs. I dropped one. Come back. is a pink one and the eggs come in all different colors. And these are pink eggs but we also have blue eggs. I particularly like the blue ones because they're the brightest. look like candy. They look like little uh, chocolate eggs covered in like an outer candy coating of like delicious sugar. Um, but yes, there's blue, there's pink, there's this like beige brown colour. And then there's uh, like a really pastel purple. And there's also green. Green. There's also green. Alright. So, then we also have the little player cubes. There should also be five of those. Here we go. Alright, these are the cubes. Um, 
put your little tokens that you use throughout the game to make moves with. And so each player has a colour. Um, and the, of course, the um, dice roller thing, dice roll tower bird thing, has dice. And the dice are really nice. Really nice dice. There's five dice. And the dice have little symbols of food that birds might eat. And of course you have to collect the food in the game. It's sort of like a form of currency. As are the eggs, I suppose. Um, right, so we also have the big first player token, which is a round, rather large round token of the bird on the front cover of the box. Which is some sort of swallow again, I'm not sure what type. These are all European birds, um, is that true? I think that's true. Um, and you can get expansions for different parts of the world. Maybe they're not European, maybe they're um, American. I'm not sure, but there's no Australian birds in here, so I wasn't too familiar. They're American birds, um, so I wasn't too familiar with them. Um, but no doubt I will be. Uh, yeah, so that's the first player token which I put in this gigantic bag just for overkill. Um, keep him safe. And then we've got this card here, which is used in game to get different types of scoring, like different points, you get more points each round, and there's different rounds with different rules that get different points. That's nice. Very loud, scratchy, quality thing. And then we've got this pad of paper. Ooh, it's on the move! We have this pad of paper for rules and scoring. And as you can see here, the last time we played, the scores were 100, 98, 97, and then little old me coming in at 64. Um, right. Uh, the next thing in here are the little containers. And the little containers have the little round tokens that I was telling you about before of the little, little, like this is little fishy from the little fish eating uh, birds. Some of the birds are hunters, they eat fish. And they have these fantastic little containers. That they come in. Some of the birds eat um, fruits. Ah, little fruits. Um, some of them eat wheat, wheat or grain, and also little grubs. We're all in the same little. I've put I've put those two in the same little one. I really like that they come with these handy little containers because not only are they good for stacking up, but they're good for gameplay too. So you can keep the little food in the little food containers. And this one has little mice, because also these ones, uh, owls eat mice, some certain birds and oops, birds and stuff. So that's nice. And then we have this big old container here. 
which is made of a very nice plastic. And it's got a little bird in the corner down here and some places to lay cards. And it's also a nice blue colour and it's got feathers here, feathers here and uh, bags over here. And inside this, inside this container, isn't that a good plastic to tap on? So inside that container are cards, and these these little squares also. But I'm actually going to move out of there because it feels wrong to have them in there. I'm going to put them in with the um, with this token. I could probably put them in their own little container, actually. They don't even need to share. I'll put them in here. Let's do a little bit of organizing while I'm here. I'm going to put this play a token in this little bag and zip it up. And then I'm going to take these little tokens here, which are like, um, you get points for, oops, you get points for the amount of birds in total each round. If you have the most birds, you get that many points. Um, and on the back there's harder ones, which is like sets of three eggs in any any area um, so yeah they're just little points that you put on that little board of really nice feeling this one they go on, on these squares here and then when you get through those rounds those are extra points that you can gain for having those things in those sections which is kind of cool I forgot I was supposed to be whispering <laughs> um, right so I'm just gonna put those in here So they don't rattle around too much in the big box. Right. Um, so some of the cards. Oops. We have our um, boring. They are uh, instruction cards. They just quickly teach you the rules and how to play. So they're little, they're little tools that you can use if you need help, basically. Um, but they have a really nice quality card and pictures on the back of them for settings. Uh, yeah, so then we also have cards that are um, like extra bonus points that you can get, I suppose. Um, you start with one of them and then you can collect them throughout gameplay as well. Um, so, for example, these could be things like oologists, birds that have at least one egg laid on them. If you have seven to eight birds, you get three feathers at the end of the game. If you get nine plus birds, you get six feathers at the end of the game. Another one might be wildlife gardener. So the birds with the nest type that looks like that gets different points. If you have four to five birds, you get four feathers at the end of the game. And if you have six plus birds, you get seven. So these are different little scores that you can get throughout the game, um, which you add up at the end. So then we get on to the really fun cards, which are the cards with birds. So there's a lot of them. There's this big stack and there's this big stack. So many. I'll just give them a shuffle. Smaller deck. Um, cool. So 
For an example, for an example, for an example, some of the cards we have. White throated swift, a white throated swift, an American kestrel, and a turkey vulture. Would you like to see more? Yeah, All right. we have a chipping sparrow, a chipping sparrow, we have a white breasted nut hatch. A white breasted nut hat. We have an American woodcock. An American woodcock. The woodcock's amazing mating display involves repeated dives from 300 feet. That's insane. We have the Western Tanager. Whoops, I am dropping cards all over the place. We'll just do a smaller selection. The Western Tanager. These flame-coloured birds are hard to see because they're like canopies of evergreen forests. Not all of the little things are that fun. This is Clark's Grebe. Clark's Grebe. Clark was a 19th century surveyor who collected specimens for the Smithsonian. The Red-Eyed Vero. As a nearsighted Vero's flock with other birds that make noise if predators are around. They don't need to see, they can just rely on other birds to tell them when they are in danger. And yeah, there's like red-tailed hawk, eastern kingbird, dowie woodpecker, blue-grey gnat catcher, and all the different birds. Here's my favourite, here's my favourite, here's my favourite. All the different birds have different like things on them, like this is Anna's hummingbird. Slightly different hummingbird to the one on the box. <sighs> Slightly different. It's got a pinker head. But it's cooler. Don't you think? I really like it because it's got my name on it. Um, but, so, these birds' impressive mating displays involve diving from over 100 feet in the air. That's nothing compared to that other bloke I was just talking about, the other burb. Uh, so Anna's hummingbird, these birds, um, uh, when activated, each player gains one feed from the bird feeder, starting with the player of your choice. So Anna's hummingbird gives everyone food, which is kind of nice. Um, we've got red-tailed hawk, he's in wood downy pecker, blue green gnat catcher, purple gallinule, a black vulture, um, red-winged blackbird, song sparrow, Carolina chickadee, barn swallow, painted white start, a dig sizzle, a spotted owl, an osprey, and a willet. I recently got a photo uh, of an osprey that looks suspiciously like this picture. It's quite similar, it's got the fish and everything. Um, and by recently I mean 2019. I got that shot uh, when I was travelling, visiting family with my family. Those were the days, my friend. Um, yeah, so there's lots of these bird cards, and that's like, thus the basis of its appeal. Um, but yeah, so they've got this nice feathered pattern on the back, and you start the game out with like five cards, I think, and then the idea is to have the most cards on your board as you can. Oh, I haven't shown you a board. Ugh, the boards are right down the bottom, obviously. Um, I have to, I have to show you a board. Alright, I'll put the lid back on those. If you would like a video of me just going through each card and showing you the birds on the card, please let me know because I would be more than happy to make that. Um, so, the, each player gets a, oops, smashing loud thing. Each player gets a board. And the boards have this nice leathery pattern on the back. And then whoop, whoop, a place where they can put all their birds and the different eggs you can get on those squares and the different prices it costs to do things. It costs one egg to put a bird down. Um, yeah. Sorry about the bumpage. Um, and then, so when you gain food on this layer, then activate any brown players on this row. Yeah, 
so the different bird powers get activated on different turns. Um, you can get different eggs at different times and stuff. But yeah, so that's where you put your things. Let's put that board back. And pop the cards back in. But if you truly would like to see every single card in the deck, every single card, bird card, every bird card in the deck, I would love to show you them and read out the little fact about the bird from Wingspan, 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 um, in another video. But for now I'll just start putting things back into Wingspan Autonoma is the rules for if you want to play uh, autonomously, so if you like by yourself. Um, I might leave these out and make a sound tapping video. With them later as well. Alright, heaps of video ideas from this video, well two, two video ideas from this video, if you would like to see them, would be hard tapping on this, fast tapping slash whatever this sound is, for a whole video. And also, um, reading the cards, reading every single card in the pack. There is an Australian um, expansion pack full of Australian birds, which is kind of cool. I can't get it. I shouldn't have done this. There we go. I like how neatly everything fits. Whoops, we got a card. Um, back in the box as well. Like it's pretty, pretty well packed. So I will put this back in as well. Not that there's anything in it, but maybe one day I will need that plastic bag. Um, yeah. So that's wingspan. I would show you my game. I hope you enjoyed this show and tell and I will see you very soon in the next video. I hope that you are nice and calm and relaxed and well rested, well rested, well rested. Good night, 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 sleep well, good night, sleep well.